If you ever ask yourself what goes into a belt, besides keeping your pants up and keeping things you're trying to keep in your waistband tight, secure, and keeping them up, there's a lot more than just picking a belt off the rack that you think is gonna work. You gotta think about the buckle. You gotta think about the material. You gotta think about the adjustment and if it's actually gonna work. And then of course, having one that's made in the US like the one we're gonna talk about from Applied Gear today is definitely a plus. Well, I don't know if you are like me, but let me know if you've ever had like, I don't know, a blowout of one of those holes in the leather or the pleather belts that you buy at the department store, or if you've ever lost some weight and had to stab a new hole with an ice pick or something into that belt to keep it running. So today, talking about this Apply Gear belt, we're gonna go into the materials, the buckle, how it's made, the durability of it, the thickness of it, and like kind of the rigidity of it, because that is huge if you plan on carrying anything, especially EDC, because you want it to bear the weight of that stuff. Whether you are looking for an EDC belt, you're a construction worker looking for an ultra durable belt that's gonna last two years, or whether you just like things that look kind of cool and different, like that Cobra buckle right there, make sure you stick around to get all of the info. If this is your first time here, get subbed up, get belled up, and if you like anything that's going on here at any point in time, give the video a like. Huge thank you to all of my Patreons for the support and to Shall Not Comply for being the channel sponsor for all of the swag. Link down below for that. Go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and get into this belt right now and talk about everything that goes into it. All right, let's jump right into the applied gear belt right here. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that big flag right there made in the USA, which is always good stuff. Let's go ahead and start at the buckle and then we're gonna talk about the material. So if you're not familiar with the Cobra buckle designs right here. These things can take an extreme amount of force. Very, very easy to use. And this is the hybrid size buckle because it's got a smaller end right here on this side so you can loop it through your pants. Clips in like that. You are not gonna pull this thing apart unless you, I don't know, do it with like a car or something. You push in on those two levers and it comes out. Very cool. This is the kind of stuff that's used on parachute rigging. And it is extremely, extremely strong. So talking about the material here, I'll go ahead and take this apart and we'll go with the hybrid end first. You can see since it's the smaller one, so it'll fit through regular jeans. They add a piece of nylon material right here, which is cross stitch, box stitch, all that stitching that's gonna keep that thing together on the inside and the backside right there because it won't fit over that inch and a half nylon. So that's how it's secured away. Around this entire belt here, it's double stitch. It, I mean, the stitching on these things are just absolutely insane. So within here, there's actually a piece of like a plastic liner in there to give it more rigidity. So you're not gonna be bending this thing should you be carrying heavy items on your belt or bending over or wearing some form of suspenders out on a job site with this thing. It is going to last. You can see the stitching lines going all through there. It's got three lines of it, top, middle, and center. And then of course, that's gonna follow through on the inside because it gets stitched all the way through, right? That's just how these things kind of work. So coming on to the opposite end, this is a, a Velcro setup here. So you take this off, you can adjust your buckle here to your desired length and then slap it back on to the female section of the Velcro. You've got a ton of room for adjustment here. So if you go up in weight, you go down in weight, which is generally preferable, you're gonna have the adjustability here. Uh, one of the best things about how they have made this because other companies do it differently is that double layer has to end somewhere, right? And you'll see right in here, that whole double layer of nylon all the way around, right until the end where you want a little bit of that flexibility for your buckle. Some companies do this section on the inside or some will do it up here and it's just kind of loose. And I've actually caught some of those on things out there before. So the fact that they've covered this with the Velcro right there is definitely nice because it hides that kind of hard edge in there of that secondary piece of nylon. So the male end of the buckle right there, like I said, that is your adjustment point. You're not gonna hurt these buckles. I mean, you'd have to hit these things with a sledgehammer or do something just really dumb with them to uh, cause damage to them. So the thickness of these is great because it gives you the ability to put your holsters on there anything like that, but it's not overly big to the point where it's not going to accept standard holster clips. So you can see right here how nicely it fits in there. There's not a lot of wiggle in them. Those are your standard clips right there, but you always wanna have solid clips on anything you're wearing. You see how those kind of have that loop that goes back over to catch the edge of the belt. You always want clips like that, whether it's your knife scabbard, a holster, anything like that. So it's gonna give you the ability to wear this in multiple different places. And if you have to make minor adjustments, 
you can slip these items around, or as we'll see here in a second, since that is that smaller buckle, you can actually maneuver the whole belt around your waistline if you don't wanna print out the front of your shirt with that buckle. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the price. Let's see how this thing actually wears and how it's gonna fit and function out there if you're interested in these. All right, so now that you know how this belt is made and the quality that went into it there, let's talk about how this thing wears, especially if you're gonna be carrying a holster in this thing. So that smaller buckle allows you to zip it right through your belt loops, even if they're normal size or a little bit smaller. That inch and a half material is gonna be great and it gives you the ability to slide that back and forth should you be carrying something in your waistband, a knife, your EDC piece, whatever you want. It's gonna allow you to carry appendix a lot easier than some of the other belts on the market with bigger buckles on them. And that rigidity of the belt with that inner line plastic piece in there is gonna keep that thing stiff and to form even after years of use. That's definitely something you're gonna be looking for, especially if you carry things on your belt line that are a little bit heavier. And we all know like normal belts just tend to sag. It's like old socks. Eventually the elasticity just wears out, the material gets loose. Next thing you know, your socks don't even stay up and you're looking for new socks. Same thing happens with our belts. If you're buying those off the rack department store belts, they just don't hold up. And quite honestly, you end up spending almost the exact same amount of money or more because you go through more of them. So who is a belt like this for? Whether you're an EDCer, a construction worker, a landscaper, somebody who just wants something that's rigid, gonna last and hold up to years of use, carrying knives or whatever on your belt line, or people who just like those different looks for something that's gonna last a long time, which talking about a long time, let's talk about that price. Right now, looking today, this belt comes right in about 60 bucks. For some people that may sound a little expensive, for others that may not sound expensive at all, depending on what you've purchased before in your life. The difference is this belt is gonna last for years, minus like cutting this thing up on accident or something like that. I've had other belts like this, that double thick nylon that I've had for several years and they're still in great shape. They generally don't fray unless you do something really weird with them. And that buckle is gonna take a beating probably unlike anything else out there on the market, definitely more than 99% of us are ever gonna do to a belt. So if you are looking to up your belt game, your EDC game, they are definitely one to check out. Good people located right outside of Fort Bragg. They've got another company that makes some really cool stuff out there for some really cool people that we will get into in a future video. And that is what I've got for you guys today. Huge thank you again to my Patreons. For all the rest of you, I thank you for being here. If you like what's going on, get subbed up, get belled up. Give the video a like if you feel that I have deserved it. And of course, if you wanna support the channel in any way, you can check out Patreon or any of those links down below. You guys get out there and have some fun. Take a look at these if you're looking for something new, and I will see you guys on the next one.